All right, the Razor Mamba. Incredible box, typical Razor. Box is just absolutely beautiful. The mouse comes seated in there. Um, all the components for the mouse, like the, the USB cable, the battery, um, actually comes out of the front there, like little drawers. Um, yeah, I, might, I might actually show you. Okay, sorry about that, so here we go. There's the uh, documentation, which is the typical Razor documentation, you know, user manuals. You get some stickers, um, product catalog, etc. So here we go. Um, the bottom holds the battery. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So they just come out like that and open at the top. Um, Yep, there's another one there, and another one at the top for the USB cable. Mm -hmm. Not that anyone really cares about the box, but it's pretty exceptional. So I just thought I'd show you. I was pretty impressed. Now for the mouse itself. It's um, sitting there in the charging dock. You can charge it in the dock or via USB cable straight into the mouse. The charging dock light um, pulses on and off as you can see when it's charging. When it's fully charged it stays on I'm pretty sure. Um, as you can see the mouse wheel glows blue. So there's three different surfaces down the side there shiny in the middle there's a rubbery one here and then the matte finish all over the top um, you can see where the USB cable plugs into the front there there's actually a little switch there right there to uh, release the USB cable wireless connectivity uh, pairing button on off switch that's the battery right there. It actually makes the battery makes it quite heavy. It is a pretty heavy mouse, one of the heaviest ones that I've felt. It is lighter than the Logitech G700, mind you. Quite a bit lighter. So sensitivity buttons at the front there. Your DPI and uh, backwards and forwards buttons right there. Same. Uh, rubber finish shiny and matte. Uh, those lights that you just saw there they just switched off. Hang on. They are both for DPI and uh, battery level so I'll just change the DPI. Oops. Okay so as you can see there it's uh, going green as I'm changing the DPI. Um, and then after a while, 10 seconds or so, it'll go back to battery level. There we go. So, um, I've been using this mouse for about three weeks. Very impressed. Lots of long gaming sessions. The battery is supposed to last for 14 hours. And uh, that's, that's about right, what I get out of it. Um, and I've, I've played with the USB cable plugged in and wirelessly and it's exactly the same, seriously no difference, no noticeable difference at all, both is a one millisecond response time 5600 DPI absolutely awesome mouse um, considering they can get that high performance wirelessly and uh, there's the charging dock with the mouse out of it all right.